I, I don't know if anybody's ever seen these like original Star Wars inspirational paintings that were done before the movie got made, but this artist Ralph McQuarrie made all these paintings for George Lucas. And Anagram sort of did the same thing. They hired a, a bunch of illustrators to come up with, uh, you know, sort of paintings of scenes from the movie. And that was put together in a package, and that was given to Lionsgate along with the uh, along with the script. And that that got them really jazzed about it. So so you know, sometimes it can really help to to do that sort of pre visualization. Um, what's your favorite zombie movie, and why? Uh. Man, I like a bunch of them. Uh, I'd have to say probably Dawn of the Dead is my favorite. Uh, the original Romero one. Uh, just just because it was so sort of like when I was a kid and I saw it, it, was, it sort of blew my mind. It was like, this is great. It was a zombie film, but it's actually saying something. It, it's, it, you know, it wasn't like a Friday the 13th or a... Uh, uh, you know the you know the blob or something like that. It was actually it was, it was actually sort of trying to say something about about you know society, but but it was couching it in exploding heads, and that's cool. Did you ever have any like young foolish ideas about not doing zombie stuff? Did you ever want to do anything else? About not doing zombie stuff. I, I think the zombie stuff was the foolish idea. <laughs> Um, no, no, it's, you know, I, I, I'm lucky, I, I, you know, got to sort of work on a bunch of fun projects that, that uh, sort of work with, uh, you know, the kind of things that I like, you know, in my imagination, like zombies and vampires, I did a series called Blood Ties, which was about a private detective and a vampire who fight crime, uh, you know, so, so, no. Uh, how did you get started in the writing uh, business for films, and uh, what would you recommend for aspiring writers? Uh, I'd, I'd recommend aspiring writers don't write, because I don't need the competition. <laughs> um, I, I, uh, I, start, I started writing, I mean, writing was something I was doing in high school. Uh, I, I went into film school right out of high school. Uh, and it was just something that I always wanted to do. I sort of got sidetracked into an animation career for about eight years, and then uh, one night, sort of had an epiphany in my office while I was doing a budget for a, for a commercial, sort of going, I hate this. I hate everything about this. I want to be a writer. So I, I, I literally sort of just, you know, took what was a hobby and just sort of put it as a central focus of my career. What but it's a, you just write all the time. It, it, it annoys my wife. Um, in the 1950s, there was like this huge uh, thing going on in the United States where the government and Rawls were saying, watch out for communists, report communist activity. Um, and uh, when I noticed that this film was uh, set in the 1950s, I thought that it might have been poking fun at uh, all the crazy uh, defense conspiracies that were going on at that time. Was that uh, deliberate or? Uh, it's deliberate. It was actually, I mean, the paranoia of the 50s actually really uh, sort of paralleled the paranoia of, you know, the first few years after 9-11. Uh, and I think, you know, it wasn't really something where we sat down and we sort of said explicitly we're going to make a, a, you know, make a film that says this about, you know, early 21st century North America, but, but it definitely influenced us in terms of those parallels of, you know, the communist scare versus the terrorist scare that, that the government's really sort of latched on to, you know, watch the skies became orange alert. Uh, so, so I think I think on a subconscious level, more than on a conscious level, it had an influence. But it definitely did have an influence. The final film versus your script, like, how do they compare? Are you happy with the final film? Uh, as happy as you were with the script? Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I, I think, uh, I'd, I'd say my very first original version was a lot gorier than the final product, but, uh, you know, I, I, th I think Andrew made the right choice to sort of pull back on it. Dennis, amazing film with Fido. All the kids here from Sudbury and elsewhere, let's say thank you to Dennis. And <laughs>